Hey yo, here we go. Let's get uh, our next part going, our little handle to move these things. So we're going to push S and get a sketch going. I'm going to sketch right on top of this gray part right here. And I'm going to look at the top of this. We're going to need both of those circles to be brought in as lines. So um, if I push U, and I don't want to click here because I don't bring in too many lines. I just want the circle, right? So see that part turn black? I'm going to come up and get this other one. And bada bing. We got it. Now I'm going to push S and draw a circle. And we're going to draw out and go 3 8 And we'll do the same here. 3 8 Bada bing. Now we can do something that's kind of fun. I'm going to look at the top of the skin. I'm going to push a line tool. I'm going to drag. I'll just click a line out here. I'm going to drag it. Make sure it's parallel. Okay. Uh, watch as I get here. Bam. It's snapped into parallel. That's good. And then I'm going to drag it up here. And we're good to go. Okay. Make sure it's parallel again. Okay. So now I've just got these blue lines. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this. So it doesn't look like much right now, so we're going to clean it up. So first thing, I want these lines to be attached correctly on there. And that's why I drew them past and, and wide. I want them to be attached with the tangent. And i got to do that on both sides. So let's go in tangent between those two. So I click my tangent constraint up here, click the circle, and click the line. And we're good to go. This one's not connected. Let's go ahead and get that connected. And then we shall do the same here. And I'm not sure if we have to do this one. Let's see if it'll over constrain it. Yep, broke it. So let's go ahead and push control and Z to back out of that last one. So we're good. Everything is constrained. That's way too far out there and the line's blue. We can change that here in a moment, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim these off. So if I push the S key, I got my scissors right there. It's a trim tool, shows up right here as well. And then I click on the line. I'm going to bring it down to the edge. Wow, that's fancy. Cool trim tool. And we only need a circle inside of here. I'm going to put it right in the middle of this thing. So you can see the little square. My highlighter's getting in the way. But if you move along this, it'll hit a square in the center point or in the middle point. And then I'm going to drag this out to the edge. And we should be good to go. I just push enter on that. It doesn't need that constraint. That's why I messed up. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and delete it. It's already defined by these sizes over here. Now it can move back and forth. So we're going to click our dimension tool from the center of that one to the center of this one. I'm going to drag it out here. I'm going to make it three. Now we are fully constrained. There's no blue lines, no red errors. We saw a couple on that one. And we're good to go. Let's go ahead and go green checkbox. Now, uh, there's a couple extra lines in this, and we could have trimmed them up, but we can just select more parts when we go to extrude. So we'll go S and then extrude. And I'm going to click that there. It snags some extra spots. It's getting, this is a tricky part here. This is going to put a little notch in it, I have a feeling. Oh, I missed one over here. Well, let's bring all those in and then down here. All right, and that is too thick. Let's go one eight. It's kind of thin, but we'll call it good. And there's our new part. Green chip box. Yeah, I got the little notch. If we zoom way in that, let it will see why. If we zoom way in. It's just looking at this little piece, little sliver right there. That's what it's doing. I'm going to click on the X. I'm going to go ahead. And, it's just bothering me. i got to get that one. And there's there's one on the other side, too. If you're wondering where those came from. There we go. Now it's smooth. I could see it visually. I saw a little notch. I didn't like it. So now we're good. <laughs> then we're good to go. All right. See, on the next one, we'll put this thing. We can't actually make this thing move yet because we got to do that inside the assembly. But we'll learn on that on the next one. See you then.